When I was four years old, my wonderful parents did something that absolutely changed my life. The severity of my asthma attacks improved and my hospital admissions stopped. G'day, I'm Anna Cini. I worked as a registered nurse for 10 years probably partly to do with the many, many nights I spent in hospital as a child, I wanted to give back to the world. I still do, and that's why I'm making videos telling people the answers to what I have discovered throughout my life. I want to help families, especially if you are a parent with an asthmatic child, this could be relevant for you. This method worked for me, and hopefully it will be a benefit to you too. So if you know someone who has an asthmatic child, please forward it to them. I was such a sick child. I had asthma attacks regularly, sometimes fortnightly and my parents did an amazing job of raising me in South Australia. My parents really worked to try to get to the bottom of what was going on. I had blood tests and sweat tests and x-rays and I was allergic to lots of different things including oranges and tomatoes and eggs and dairy and cats and horses and dust and pollen and moulds and also I had exercise induced asthma. The turning point came when I was four years old and a specialist suggested that he put a camera down into my lungs which is called a bronchoscopy and had a look at the fluid that was sitting in my lungs and this fluid turned out to be stomach acid yep hydrochloric acid sitting in the tiny little bronchioles of my lungs so with the presence of stomach acid in my lungs it became apparent that I was having reflux reflux is a condition where the tight muscle at the top of your stomach isn't closing properly so the acid that's in your stomach bubbles up, comes up through your esophagus and into your mouth. The fluid from my stomach was traveling up my esophagus, into my mouth and then back down into my lungs. So it's kind of like leaving the oven door open and all the hot air coming out. Leave a comment if you know what this is like. So they did another test then and they put a tube into my stomach to see how regular the reflux was. And it turned out through that test that I was having reflux three or four times a minute. So my lungs were irritated and inflamed because of the gastric juices that were sitting in my lungs. So it was suggested that perhaps my asthma attacks came on because of my reflux. And when you're lying down every night, obviously whatever's bubbling up into your mouth can be inhaled and go back down into your lungs again. And this of course would be damaging for anyone's lungs. But for me, it was causing asthma attacks. So my wonderful dad built a wedge that went under the top of my mattress. So it was the width of the top of my mattress and about half the length. And it was about four inches high, a bit like a doorstop. And so my mattress was raised. And then I was sleeping uh, with my head not at the same level as my stomach. So if I had reflux, it wouldn't get a chance to get into my mouth or I could inhale it into my lungs again. And guess what happened? The severity of my asthma attacks hugely decreased and I did not have another hospital admission for my asthma attacks from then on. The frequency as well decreased and my parents were probably singing and dancing, I don't know, but it would have been a great relief to them. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope this has been helpful for you and can be helpful for others as well. Please join me on my journey as I reach 1 million subscribers and continue to donate my time and money to help people across the world. Let me know if you have any questions. Please forward this to your friends. I'm Anna Cheney and I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.